It's very squishy, just like shrimp. It feels like there's, you know, like the body of a sea creature in here, <laughs> I would say. But this shrimp didn't come from the ocean. It was dreamed up in a lab by scientists. We're really taking like an engineering and material science approach, using that engineering approach to understand um, molecule by molecule, what gives shrimp different textural properties. I was thinking about animal agriculture and how inefficient and cruel it is and how we could make it better. And so my first idea was to grow animals without brains. If successful, companies like this will revolutionize sustainable seafood, but can they pull it off? We're here at Indie Bio, home to many San Francisco biotech startups. Here, a company named Finless Foods is working to grow fish meat from stem cells to replace wild-caught fish. What we do is we take a small sample about this big from a fish that still lives. Um, the fish gets glued back up, put back in the water. From there, we take that sample and take just the cells that we need. The science that you're working with is extremely nascent. You're taking stem cells and you're trying to coax them into a fish fillet, basically. How are you going to make it actually taste like fish? We actually don't have to work very hard to make it taste like fish because we are using real fish cells from a fish. The problem really is creating a structure, a texture that will imitate meat correctly. People like the idea of eating something that comes from the ocean, but something that was grown in a lab in a petri dish, that's not as appetizing sounding. So how do you plan to get people around that? They'll be eating the exact same thing, it'll just be sourced in a much better way. And beyond that, we're trying to create something that is using natural processes. We're just completely taking the process that goes on naturally inside of a fish and doing it outside of a fish. Endless Foods claims they're about three years from making it to supermarket shelves, but it could really be decades. Stem cell science is still new, and some are skeptical that this approach will be scalable for the mass market anytime in the near future. Some people estimate that we could see fishless oceans by 2050, and that's right around the corner. We've developed a process and technology that creates this texture of shrimp. We can bring it to your plate today, instead of having to wait 20 years before these other technologies become affordable. And there are so many people trying to make a fake burger, yeah. right? All these synthetic things that even look like they bleed. But why has seafood been something that hasn't attracted a lot of attention? The muscle structure of seafood is a lot different than land animals. So we have a high moisture content and a different muscle length. And it's a little more challenging to replicate from plant ingredients. They gave me a peek at how they turn algae into something that looks and feels like shrimp. The process is um, using a solidifying solution to get that outer shell kind of, and then oh. um, like we use an ingredient on the inside that congeals a little bit slower than the outside does. But essentially it's combining protein, oils, um, and other things that give the shrimp a good mouthfeel. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite. Hmm, it's good actually. It kind of tastes like, it does have a, a very subtle fishy taste. So I tried it and it wasn't half bad. But the real test is whether the public will bite when New Wave shrimp finds its way to more stores and restaurants. Ultimately though, for faux seafood that actually tastes like seafood, stem cells are the holy grail. The success of those technologies could save our oceans, but only if it comes before it's too late.